Hi all. So, as you can probably tell, I'm back in the camper, uh, Mark 7 Transit Long Wheelbase. You hopefully or may have seen the last video I did, which was changing one of the two van batteries, and so not the ledger batteries, the van batteries. And right at the end of the video, you'd have seen it led to radio now being locked out. So, this video is going to be how to get the pin code and get the radio working again. And I just scrolled through all the numbers uh, and of course, in my normal self, I've just thought, do you know what? A pen and paper out here would be a really good idea. So I'll go fetch those as I can write the number down. Yes, yeah, the information I found online says you press and hold the one and the six for a few seconds and then it scrolls through all this information and then we're looking for a number that may start with an M or a V but it's uh, evidently it's the serial number of the CD player Ah, so we've got a V number there, so I'm going to write that one down. So I fetched a pen, but a uh, piece of paper didn't leap in front of me, so my hand would do. So we're now looking at putting this code in, uh, and it wants four digits. So I believe it's the last four digits of this. So we put in, and each digit you just multiple press the numbers so the first digit you multiple press number one to get the first digit in and then multiple press number two for the second digit then multiple press number three for the third digit and guess what you do for the fourth digit yeah you multiple press number four Okay, now let's hope this works. So I guess we press that for enter, do we? The information I found online and some YouTube uh, how-to videos told me just to stick the serial number in, which clearly isn't working. I don't want to try too many variations of the serial number because I guess, like most of these things, if you do it wrong too often, uh, you end up being permanently locked out and uh, brick the CD. So I've had a look online because I, I suspected that maybe there was a way that you use the serial number. Often the way I find with youtube stuff that it gives you a clue in the right direction but never leads you totally to the right answer. So I thought maybe yeah, from the serial number you could get the code. So I've done a Google and I found lots and lots of websites that offer to do it free. Um, and then when you go on there, they... they do do it free, um, but you have to wait 24 hours or 48 hours, and or you can get it instantly for it seems to be anything from about two or three quid up to one of my source said a tenner. So moving my way all the way down to about the fourth page on Google, no, that's an exaggeration. About the third page on Google, I found a website that says it's free. So I just showed. So this website here said it's free. And it's one of those really sort of basic websites. But I put the code in. I've pressed the calculate button. Sorry, I put the serial number in. Press the calculate button. And it's given me that code. So I go out, stick that code in and see if it works. If it doesn't, I will wait mid 24 hours until the code comes through on an email. It'll be interesting to see actually, because I've put the, there's probably like four different websites I've put that code in, 
and they've said 24 hours or 48. So I put that serial number in. It'd be interesting to see when I get these emails whether they all give the same security code. Back in the camper. There's the code I got off that website. Let's see what happens. So it's five. Five, six, two, four, and five seems to be with oh, hey. you, a man who knows a thing I didn't or two give that about much that chance, is but... Sir Simon Fraser, former permanent undersecretary at the Foreign That's Office. Work. He joins us now. Good afternoon, Sir Simon. I'll just give it another test. I've turned. I've turned the engine off. I've turned the ignition an off. Put it back on. on. Close our oh, radios in the UK. And frankly, we're two countries which are in many ways yeah, very like similar that. and have very similar views on the. That is a very, very. There we go. So this is a little follow-up a few days later. So these are the sites that did send me the code, the same code, uh, a few days later. So they might be worth using, possibly if you're maybe watching this video. And the site that was free and did it straight away may have gone for any reason. Those two are both worth looking at. Thanks for getting to the end of the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so now. Just hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell button and that way YouTube will tell you when there's any new videos. We've got some big plans ahead for the channel including possibly a car build from scratch. So if you want to get involved with that, now's the time to subscribe. Cheers then, bye.